here. Um, it's kind of like for any of y'all that ever had one of those kerosene heaters that you had a wick in it, on it and you had to dump kerosene into. They made this little thing you could pump to start the prime so that you could get the uh, kerosene to run down into your tank. Well, this is that same idea, but it's got a battery in it. I went to the store to get one of those others, and he said, well, I got this one with the battery. He runs with a couple of D batteries, and it'll pump gas right out of that tank. Right now, I'm pumping gas out of the Studebaker tank into this can, and I'm going to go pour that gas in the, uh, in the RV. And I just pumped a, a bunch of gas out of here into the RV that I had set aside for why do we have this leakage happening here what's going on i have a hole in that thing do i i do that's not good not what i wanted to see happen there it's like a little hole in that line dang i say maybe it's uh maybe it's pumped as much as it can pump maybe that's why it's back feet in there maybe it's not a hole I noticed a while ago when I got down to the bottom of the can over on that other thing, it did, it sort of backfed up, up the line there some kind of way. But anyway, that's a neat little gizmo right there. Uh, I'll look at that line a little closer once that gets it's empty because if I got a hole in that, I'm going to want to put a different line on it. But my thinking is I'm going to pump out as much of this as I can and then uh, pour some some sea foam down in there and start it up and let it run run it dry uh, run the carburetor dry run the gas line dry then I'll take the battery out of it and then uh, I'm just going to leave her running at that fast idle and let her run all the gas out of it. I suppose I could dump a little sea foam in there while it's doing that. Let it run it through the carburetor. While well, that's running, I'll go catch fire the RV. I had the battery charged the other day, but hadn't had it on there for the last few days, so let's see if I need to put that battery check. Yeah, it's going to need it. I'll, I'll go hook that up. I thought she was about to run dead, but it may have just automatically changed the choke setting. I don't know. Usually I figure it won't do that if you don't match the gas, but maybe it did. Uh, I'll let y'all watch a minute or two, see if it goes dead while I go get that uh, battery tender to put on the RV. Yeah.